You're probably trying to keep up with all these AI chatbots, ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini. And just when you think you've seen it all, Elon Musk drops a bombshell. I've been following Grok since its launch in late 2023, testing every version on X. And what I found about Grok 5 honestly shocked me. We're not talking about a small upgrade here. We're talking about something that might actually change everything we know about AI assistance. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm breaking down everything we know about Grok5, Elon Musk's most ambitious AI project yet. We're talking 6 trillion parameters, real-time video processing, and what Musk himself calls a 10% chance of achieving human-level intelligence. I'll show you exactly what makes this different from every other chatbot out there, when you can actually get your hands on it, and whether it lives up to the massive hype. First up, let's talk about what makes Grok5 so incredibly different from its predecessors. The Grok Evolution To understand why Grok5 is such a big deal, you need to know where it came from. XAI launched Grok back in late 2023, and it immediately stood out because it was built into X, formerly Twitter. Unlike ChatGPT or Claude, which you access through separate apps or websites, Grok lives right inside the platform where over 600 million users are already spending their time. Grok 4, which dropped in July 2025, was already impressive. It brought native tool use, meaning it could write code, search the web, and even search through X posts without you having to switch between different apps. X XAI claimed it had best-in-class reasoning, and honestly, the benchmarks backed that up. It was crushing math and science tests that other models struggled with. But here's where it gets interesting. Musk didn't stop there. He revealed to investors in November 2025 that Grok 5 would be roughly twice the size of Grok 4. We're talking about 6 trillion parameters. Now, if you're not a tech person, that number might not mean much. But think of it like this. Parameters are basically the brain cells of an AI model. More parameters generally mean more intelligence, more nuance, more ability to understand complex ideas. Grok5 isn't just a little smarter, it's massively more powerful. What makes Grok5 different? Most AI chatbots today can handle text pretty well. Some can look at images, a few can generate pictures, but Grok5 is being designed to do something that no other chatbot can do right now. Process real-time video, audio, images, and text all at the same time. Let me give you a practical example. Imagine you're watching live drone footage of a traffic situation. You want to know what's causing the congestion, where the hazards are, and what's the fastest route around it. With current AI models, you'd have to describe what you're seeing, type it out, maybe upload a screenshot. With Grok5, you just stream the video directly to the AI, and it analyzes everything in real time. It identifies the objects, tracks the traffic flow, spots the hazards, and gives you actionable information, all without any extra training or setup. This is what Musk means when he talks about multimodal integration. It's not just about handling different types of media. It's about understanding them all together, simultaneously, the way a human would. And this isn't speculation. Press reports have already mentioned examples of Grok5 processing live drone footage exactly like this. But wait until you see what this means for everyday use. Think about coding. Right now, if you're debugging a problem, you might paste code snippets, describe the error, go back and forth with the AI. With Grok5's enhanced reasoning and longer context windows, we're talking up to 2 million tokens, which is enough to hold entire code bases, you could have a continuous, hours-long debugging session where the AI never loses track of what you're working on. The technical powerhouse. Now let's talk about what's under the hood, because this is where Grok5 gets really fascinating. It's built on what's called a mixture of experts architecture. Basically, instead of one massive neural network doing everything, you have multiple specialized expert networks that activate based on what task you're doing. This makes it both more efficient and more capable. Musk has hinted that Grok5 has much higher intelligence density than previous models. That's a term you don't hear often, but it essentially means more smartness packed into each parameter. It's not just about being bigger, 
It's about being smarter and how it uses that size. And here's something that should make you excited if you're into AI. Grok 5 is expected to handle much longer context windows than almost any other model out there. Grok 4 Fast already supports 2 million tokens. For reference, that's roughly 1,500 pages of text. You could feed it an entire book, ask questions about specific chapters, and it would remember every detail. With Grok 5, that capability should only get better. The advanced reasoning that comes with this is a game changer. Grok 4 Pro 1, which just came out in November 2025, already showed major improvements in cutting down hallucinations. Those moments when AI confidently tells you something completely wrong. Grok 5 is supposed to push that even further, making it more reliable for serious work. The X integration advantage. Here's what really sets Grok apart from every other AI assistant. It's not just a chatbot you visit when you need something. It's woven into the fabric of how you use X. If you're already on the platform, Grok is right there. In late 2025, Musk pushed an update that changed how your following feed works. Instead of showing posts in pure chronological order, they're now ranked by Grok's AI. Now, before you panic about losing control, you can still switch back to chronological if you want. But the idea is that Grok understands what you care about, what's actually worth your attention, and surfaces that content intelligently. They've also added a Grok button that appears on posts and search results. Click it and Grok can pull in context, show you related articles from the web or other X posts, analyze images or videos and tweets, and give you a deeper understanding of what you're looking at. It's like having a research assistant embedded in your social media feed. But wait, here's where it gets even more interesting. Musk announced in mid-2025 that Grok would be coming to Tesla vehicles as a voice assistant. Imagine asking your car for navigation, diagnostics, entertainment recommendations, all powered by the same AI that can process real-time video and reason through complex problems. He's even floated the idea of using Grok to power Siri on Apple devices. This is about making Grok ubiquitous. It's not just an app you open when you need help. It's everywhere. In your social media, in your car, potentially in your phone's operating system. XAI is even marketing Grok for government to federal partners, showing they're serious about enterprise adoption. What you can actually do with it. Let's get practical for a moment. What does all this technology actually mean for you as a user? Right now, with the current version of Grok, you can already do things like summarizing long articles, writing code, brainstorming creative ideas, generating images, and conducting research with live search results. Grok 5's improvements mean all of those tasks become easier and more accurate. Better reasoning means you can have longer, more complex conversations. If you're learning a new programming language, you could have a tutoring session that spans hundreds of messages, and Grok 5 will remember everything you've discussed, building on previous explanations without you having to repeat yourself. Real-time data means up-to-the-minute answers. Want to know what's trending right now? What people are saying about a breaking news story? What the latest developments are in your industry? Grok 5 pulls that information directly from X's massive stream of 500 million tweets per day. The multimodal capabilities open up entirely new use cases. Show Grok 5 a video of a problem you're having. Maybe something broken in your house, a weird error on your computer screen, a recipe you're trying to follow, and it can analyze what it's seeing and give you step-by-step -step guidance. Current chatbots can't do that. They need static images at best. There are even rumors about calendar and email integration coming. Imagine telling Grok to schedule a meeting, draft the invitation, send it out, and follow up with reminders, all through natural conversation. That's the kind of assistant-level functionality that XAI seems to be aiming for. Who gets access and when now? I know what you're wondering. When can you actually use this thing, and will it cost you? Here's what we know from the timeline. Musk tweeted in September 2025 that Grok 5 would start training in a few weeks. Originally, he said it would launch before the end of 2025. But by November, he told investors it would instead arrive in the first quarter of 2026. So we're looking at sometime between January and March of next year for the initial release. As for access, XAI has consistently given premium subscribers early or exclusive access to major updates. When Grok 4 launched, it was available immediately to Super Grok and Premium Plus subscribers. 
Free users got access later, but with strict rate limits, something like two prompts every two hours. We can expect a similar rollout for Grok5. If you're an X Premium Plus subscriber, you'll likely get it first, with unlimited or very high usage limits. Free users will probably get it later, possibly with caps that make it more of a teaser than a full experience. The exact pricing and tier structure hasn't been announced yet, but if you want to be among the first to use Grok5, a premium subscription is probably your best bet. X XAI hasn't given a specific launch date yet. Their official news page, as of November 2025, lists Grok 4.1 and various tool updates, but no Grok 5 announcement. Everything we know comes from Musk's comments and tweets and interviews, plus media reports citing his investor presentations. Based on those hints, the public debut will likely be a major event, possibly tied to some kind of AI demonstration, or even that League of Legends match Musk proposed for 2026, where Grok 5 would face off against world champions. The AGI question. Let's address the elephant in the room. Musk has claimed that Grok 5 has about a 10% chance of reaching human-level intelligence, what researchers call AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. Now that's a bold statement, and it's generated both excitement and skepticism. Andre Karpathy, who used to lead AI at Tesla and knows Musk well, recently argued that true AGI is still years away. Many AI researchers agree with him. The consensus in the field is that we're not quite there yet. But here's what's interesting. Even if Musk's 10% claim is overhyped, even if Grok 5 falls short of human-level general intelligence, it's still likely to be a massive leap forward. Musk has a history of setting ambitious targets. Remember when he said Tesla would have full self-driving next year for about five years straight? It didn't happen on his timeline, but the technology did advance significantly. The same logic applies here. Maybe Grok 5 won't achieve AGI, but it's almost certainly going to push the boundaries of what AI assistants can do. The technical specs alone, 6 trillion parameters, multimodal processing, real-time video understanding, suggest a capability level we haven't seen before in a widely available chatbot. XAI has already bragged that Grok 3 and 4 outperform competitors on math and science benchmarks. If Grok 5 maintains that trajectory, it could set a new standard for AI reasoning and problem solving. One analyst described XAI's sprint as having the fervor of the 1960s space race, and that comparison feels apt. This is a company moving fast, spending big, and betting on breakthrough rather than incremental improvement. Why this matters for the AI landscape? Let's zoom out for a second and talk about what Grok5 means for the broader AI industry. We're in the middle of an intense competition between major AI labs, OpenAI with GPT-4 and GPT-5 on the horizon, Google with Gemini, Anthropic with Claude, and now XAI with Grok. Each of these companies is racing to build the most capable AI, but they're taking different approaches. OpenAI focuses on general purpose intelligence and careful safety measures. Google leverages its massive infrastructure and integration with search and other services. Anthropic emphasizes safety and constitutional AI. XAI's approach with Grok is distinct. It's building an AI that's deeply embedded in a real-time information ecosystem. X generates massive amounts of fresh data every day. 500 million tweets, reactions, trends, conversations. That's training data that no other AI company has access to at this scale. And because Grok is integrated directly into the platform, it can learn continuously from how people actually use it. This creates a feedback loop that could accelerate Grok's development beyond what's possible with models trained on static datasets. Yes, ChatGPT can search the web. Yes, Gemini has access to Google's knowledge graph. But neither of them is embedded in a platform where hundreds of millions of people are sharing real-time thoughts, reactions, and information 24-7. The integration strategy also matters. By putting Grok into Tesla vehicles, potentially into Apple's Siri, and offering enterprise solutions for government, XAI is positioning Grok to be everywhere. It's not competing to be the best chatbot you visit occasionally. It's competing to be the AI layer on top of your entire digital life. When Grok 5 finally launches, and we're probably just a few months away now, there are specific things to pay attention to that will tell you whether it lives up to the hype. 
First, benchmarks. Look for independent testing on reasoning tasks, math problems, coding challenges, and especially multimodal tasks that combine vision, audio, and text. If Grok 5 can significantly outperform GPT-4, Claude and Gemini on these tests, that's a strong signal that the scale and architecture improvements are real. Second, real-world demos. Musk loves to show off technology in action. Expect demonstrations of Grok 5 processing live video, handling complex multi-step workflows, or doing things that current AI simply can't. If those demos deliver on the promises, it validates the vision. Third, user reaction. The AI community is pretty vocal, and if Grok 5 genuinely represents a leap forward, you'll see enthusiastic adoption, creative use cases, and people building on top of it through API access. If it's just hype, that will become clear pretty quickly too. Fourth, the AGI conversation. Whether or not Grok 5 achieves anything close to human-level intelligence, watch how it performs on tests designed to measure general reasoning and transfer learning, the ability to apply knowledge from one domain to solve problems in another. That's where AGI claims will be proven or disproven. Final thoughts. So here's the bottom line. Based on everything we know from XAI's announcements, Musk's public statements, and credible reporting, Grok 5 is shaping up to be one of the most significant AI releases of 2026. Six trillion parameters. Full multimodal processing, including real-time video. Massive context windows. Advanced reasoning capabilities. And deep integration into X and potentially other platforms. This is not a small incremental update. Will it achieve AGI? Probably not. 10% is still a long shot, and even optimists in the AI field think true human-level intelligence is further out. But does it need to hit AGI to be revolutionary? Absolutely not. If Grok 5 delivers even half of what's being promised, it'll raise the bar for what AI assistants can do. For Premium X subscribers, early 2026 is going to be an exciting time. You'll likely be among the first to test drive this technology, push its limits, and discover new use cases. For everyone else, keep an eye on the announcements, read the reviews from early users, and decide whether the capabilities justify the subscription cost. One thing's certain, the AI race is accelerating, and Musk is making sure XAI is right in the thick of it. Whether you're a developer, a creator, a business professional, or just someone who loves playing with cutting-edge tech, Grok 5 is going to be worth paying attention to. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into AI developments. Drop a comment below telling me what you're most excited to try with Grok 5 when it launches. Are you hyped for the video processing? The coding improvements? The potential AGI capabilities? Let me know. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on AI news, I'll see you in the next one.